working memory is a cognitive system that allows individuals to temporarily store and manipulate information while performing tasks. It is responsible for holding information in mind for short periods, helping with problem solving, decision making, and learning. Unlike long term memory, which stores information for future recall, working memory operates in the present, processing data needed for immediate tasks. It plays a critical role in reasoning, language comprehension, and mental arithmetic. Now let's explore how working memory functions. Working memory functions by actively holding and managing information for short periods, typically a few seconds. It consists of multiple components, including a central executive that directs attention and two subsystems. The phonological loop, which processes verbal and auditory information, and the visuospatial sketchpad, which handles visual and spatial data. When solving a math problem, for example, the phonological loop might help recall number sequences, while the visuospatial sketchpad assists in organising information on paper. The efficiency of working memory depends on cognitive load, meaning that too much information at once can overwhelm the system. Now let's look at some examples of working memory in daily life. One example of working memory is when someone follows multi-step instructions, such as assembling furniture while remembering the next steps. Another example is mental math, where an individual must hold numbers in their mind while performing calculations. In conversations, working memory helps track what has been said while formulating a response. It is also used when reading, as individuals must retain earlier parts of a sentence while understanding its meaning. These examples show how working memory is essential for everyday tasks. Now, let's contrast working memory with short-term memory. Working memory and short-term memory are related but distinct concepts. Short-term memory refers to the temporary storage of information, while working memory involves actively processing and manipulating that information. For example, short-term memory might allow someone to remember a phone number briefly, but working memory enables them to rearrange the numbers or use them in an equation. Working memory is also more complex, involving attention control and integration with long-term memory, whereas short-term memory mainly involves passive storage. This distinction highlights why working memory is crucial for higher-level thinking. Now let's explore ways to strengthen working memory. One way to improve working memory is through brain training exercises, such as memory games and puzzles that require holding and manipulating information. Practicing mindfulness and reducing distractions can also help, as working memory relies on focused attention. Breaking information into smaller chunks, such as grouping digits when memorizing a phone number, reduces cognitive load and makes recall easier. Another effective strategy is using visualization techniques to create mental images that support memory retention. By practicing these methods, individuals can enhance their working memory and improve cognitive performance.